Hi everyone, my, my name is Elder Sozo uh, and I'm here today to talk about a little about something related to innovation. As you may know, this cost action as an innovation committee uh, and therefore this presentation tends to give you a brief overview about the mission of this uh, innovation committee and what this innovation committee can offer to you in terms of supporting your uh, ideas, your uh, uh, innovations, let's say. So, uh, this presentation is organized as follows. So, I will just a uh, brief reference to what is innovation in terms of concept and also what is also uh, an innovation committee, okay? After that, I will also talk about uh, the innovation committee of this cost action how it is structured and what is, let's say, the focus and main responsibilities that we are thinking to implement during this cost action. And finally, I will try to show an application. This is just a, a simple trial to show to you how this could work during this cost action, okay? Um, let's start with the concepts. Okay, so in terms of concept, I think that uh, according to the European Commission, it says that it ha innovation is something that has value to markets, governments and society by the creation of new or significantly improved products, process, marketing and organization. So at this stage I will say that uh, uh, innovation is not restricted to products, it's more than that. Let's give an example, for example. Let's think about a new sensor, let's say a fiber optic sensor, high tech, that is able to reduce uncertainty. Uh, but we could think uh, larger. Let's say that this sensor allied to uh, an algorithm supported, let's say, by the value of information theory could lead to some output that could improve asset management. So here we have a process since the sensor, the data, and the extraction of useful information. And in fact, if I have a very good idea, perhaps this can have uh, uh, potential for a new business model. So you can explore this idea in terms of marketing. And finally, perhaps, if you think about a bridge owner, for example, that is <coughs> responsible to do the visual inspection of his bridges, perhaps he's interested to enlarge his departments in terms of including also the structural health monitoring in the visual inspections to support asset management. So uh, I think this is something in terms of uh, a process that is highly dynamic that it starts with uh, ideas, okay? Can be uh, an idea, an invention, an opportunity, that uh, if you have a good idea, you will definitely start seeking something that is related to a product, a service, or a business model. And if you get to that stage, perhaps you go to the market level. So perhaps you will start to commercialize your product. And if you are well succeeded, perhaps after a certain time, you will start monitor the behavior of your new uh, business model and perhaps you have new opportunities and perhaps you have a cycle here for So I will say that uh, uh, innovation is something that is handless and it's highly dynamic. What I put here is something that uh, in my understanding is the key words about innovation, uh, this concept. We have innovation, we have entrepreneurship and we have uh, dissemination. And what about the Innovation Committee? So we are talking about innovation. Let's try now also to try to define a little bit what is an Innovation Committee. Well, I went to study about this when I started this. And I think the key message, and I think this is very important, is that the Innovation Committee should be a enabler of good ideas. So Innovation Committee is not responsible to have ideas. The Innovation Committee is responsible to promote ideas of everyone. Uh, also to create value, so support in building collaborations, support uh, intellectual property, uh, and also to foster a culture of innovation, okay? So this is also something that we need to push a little bit to, uh, in our uh, research, in our interaction with the industry, we should foster this culture of innovation. I think also in this cost action it's also important to highlight the importance of the guidance and the recommendations. So this innovation committee in this cost action will have a, 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 an important miss, mission in these uh, recommendations. And also, uh, how to do this? Well, uh, perhaps we could promote uh, competitions for teams, seeking for the best ideas that could be uh, flour flourishing in this cost action, and also activities like innovation days or seminars. Uh, 
And, and I also think, uh, and based on the presentations that were presented today, I think it's also important to get the feedback from industry. So based on my experience with the uh, bridge owner, it's very, very important to call them to this discussion in order to get their confidence in ACGM technologies and understand a little bit how they see ACGM. Uh, and finally, I'll say that once this cost action ends, we should disseminate the knowledge that were, was in meantime uh, acquired. But more important than that is that could last over time and behind the time frame of this cost action. Well, what about uh, what is uh, defined in the memorandum of understanding of this cost action? It says that uh, the innovation committee advises the steering committee in conjunction with the advisory board in regard to the dissemination of innovations related with the new technologies, methodologies, and applications uh, towards, let's say, resource efficiency, productivity, robustness, reliability, uh, and therefore uh, advising dissemination of activities focusing on structures and infrastructure systems by optimizing SHGM systems. Um, well, taking this definition and taking what I presented before, uh, it's my understanding that we have here three main pillars that could be innovation, entrepreneurship, and dissemination. So this, that cycle that I presented. And uh, for each one, we should try to promote some activities uh, focusing on each pillar. Besides that, this should have some interaction because this is, is embedded in a cycle. And perhaps we should also be aware that uh, uh, this, manage, this innovation committee should be responsible for driving the entire process by providing guidance and help, reviewing its performance by periodic monitoring, and developing the capacity to innovate that it lasts over time. I think that this structure, it's a nice way to present something that uh, the innovation committee should try to promote near of you and uh, try to support the innovation culture. So, the question now is how we could do this during this cost action. I, I tried to present here an example, very simple. So this is very uh, draft. So what I present here is a, a table that I, I developed. So based in the memorandum of understanding, I put here for each working group, what are the aims and also what are the proposed approaches for each aim. So let's, for example, pick one of them. So for working group one, it says that one of the aims is to formulate the value of information problems on real-world applications. And the approach that is suggested is deriving a generic classification and representation of the different decision situations. So my question here is what uh, the Innovation Committee could uh, uh, suggest to help uh, uh, this, 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 uh, this uh, mission. So perhaps if you repeat again that table, I will try to put there the focus which will be one of those pillars, and what should be recommendations under that pile. So perhaps in this case could be under the pile of innovation, and perhaps we could promote some brainstorm sessions during the working group one meetings by bringing together a wide range of experts in order to, <laughs> in order to uh, define the, that categoriz categorization of the real case, uh, real case applications. So this is a a simple example of what we could think about it, but this could now be enlarged to all work, working groups and uh, with the direct collaboration of the working group leaders. So, ah, I have to present some, a video, just um, I would like to show that uh, about innovation. So this is a, a very pedagogic example that I did during my PhD. And this is about a live load tool that is able to present uh, live loads detect traffic load detections with uh, some uh, video streams. So what I want to show just to, to explain here is that we have here a video. This is the Mazirio Bridge in Portugal. We have here two spans. And in the mid span, we have a strain gauge here and another one here that is being <laughs> acquired with a high frequency. So it is able to detect the passage of the vehicles, okay? We have here a stream live. Here we have is a time history. And in the middle here is um, some information that we could extract from this uh, uh, time series uh, of the strain gauges, like uh, the loading, the velocity, and the travel direction, just to explain. So I will present this. Let's show, okay? 
So just to sorry, this is in Portuguese, some labels. So what we see here is a, uh, a first vehicle crossing, okay? And we see that the loads are detected in the peaks of the streams. And there is another, another vehicle crossing the first span. It was detected. The second span, it was detected in the second sensor. So it's just to, to show an example of, um, we could try to present to a bridge owner what kind of information could they extract from uh, uh, SHM. Now I would like to, to interact with you and perhaps like I suggested as an example, the brainstorming uh, for that uh, example working group one. I'd like to hear your feedback for possible recommendation <coughs> activities under of each uh, pilot in terms of innovation, entrepreneurship and dissemination. I have here some recommendations but I'd like to hear from you, because this is to support your ideas or innovation, what you, ex what you would expect from in terms of the innovation during this cost action. Please don't be shy. So uh, let's, let's try, I will try to, to explain it a bit. How you see um, this innovation committee help you to support your ideas or seek information to, to, for you to develop some, let's say, uh, a proposal or a intellectual property or uh, the collaboration that we have here in Potential, uh, how you see as activities that could be implemented in this cost action? So in terms of impact of uh, what is the contribution of SHM for, for, a, for a bridge owner perspective, for example? Or for the maintenance crew, for example. Do I have to inspect every second year or can I extend to six years? Okay. Well, I will try to show some examples that I was I was thinking to, to discuss. For example, I think, uh, for example, by bringing some case studies like uh, the previous presentation that you did, I think it's very inspiring the cases that you present because at least we see that uh, uh, the real world uh, uh, working and you see the feedback from the industry. And I think uh, presentations like yours are very inspiring to get some ideas or what what to do with the data that we are in terms of availability. I think also, for example, <laughs> um, the suggestion of brainstorm sessions with specific uh, targets, I think is also very useful. For example, for each working group, if we are talking about, uh, uh, let's say, uh, something related to how to use, uh, um, um, for example, in my experience, for example, is that what we do with such amount of data. How we, well, nowadays we are collecting data and data and data. What we should do with that data? Uh, should we look to it and uh, uh, analyze it? Should we, we are collecting too much data? Is data good? Is not uh, too much data is not good? What we should do that with that? Okay. In terms of also, I think uh, we should promote some competitions in this cost action. I think it's, for example, the contribution from all. We should try to seek, for example, uh, in terms of uh, a best paper or best short scientific mission or best oral presentation and try to, to, to highlight the, the, the things that people bring to you to share with us, okay? Um, and other activities that I was suggesting, for example, is bring some, bring some sessions, as I said, uh, innovation days by bringing, for example, some successful case studies that uh, in somehow we contributed for, uh, for innovation, patent seminars if there are some interest, and others. Um, another, under the other pillar, entrepreneurship, um, some recommendations that we could explore, it's for example bringing here um, 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 a panel of entrepreneurs 
to share and giving lectures about their uh, experience or an entrepreneur fair by involving them, investors, innovators to present their work, uh, chasing markets, uh, create value uh, and projects. This was already mentioned here. I think uh, we also should try to see how to link these uh, ideas with the potential for the real world. I think the, the industry here is very important because uh, my opinion is that the, I'm talking about bridge owners, for example, they are the ones that pay the systems. If we don't show to them that systems are useful, I think ACGM is not sustainable, for example. Um, and finally, under the final pillar, the dissemination, um, I think we could try to share the knowledge with, uh, by using different channels. Uh, we have a, a website, but for example, we could try to enlarge these to other platforms, Wikipedia, TED, LinkedIn, television. I think uh, uh, this, these channels that are available should be used and should be stimulated to use it. Um, I think thinking about after the end of the cost action, we should also to monitor the knowledge that uh, is being shared in this cost action, okay? Try to see the citations, downloads of journals, of conference papers, number of views, for example, uh, downloads from the presentation that could be shared in this uh, workshop by video stream. Let's see if people go there to see if they download something. I think this is the way to, uh, to assess the impact of this, of this uh, cost. Um, and finally, but I think it's, this is over time, try to see if during these four years that we are here sharing experience, uh, try to see if this has a, a meaningful contribution to change some social and economic paradigms. Let's say lecturing in universities, if this is changing some, some subjects or updating some subjects, if we have new products in the market. And even, for example, I think this is very important for the early stage career researchers, if these also create jobs for them. I think this is also very important that it's something that will have an impact not only for the four years, but perhaps in a long term run. So this is uh, some ideas um, for which I would like uh, to have, I, I will be very happy to have some feedback from all of us, uh, from the working group leaders, uh, to, because I believe that uh, two or more brands thinks better than one. So I think it's very, very important this. So my, my intention here is to share with you some activities for different uh, pillars, innovation, entrepreneurship, and dissemination, and uh, targeting the innovation culture to be shared in this cost action. Thank you for your attention.